Hi everyone, my name is Joshua Moore. I'm the Director of Rugby at Brighton Grammar School. We're a school based in Melbourne and we have approximately 1,300 boys at our school and 120 of them play rugby. The last eight days we've been based in Christchurch, uh, you know, doing team building activities and, and playing some rugby as well as being exposed to some high level training sessions with the elite coaches. Particular highlights of the tour have been the actual uh, coaching sessions with coaches from around the Canterbury region and those that are involved with the Crusaders. Um, particular highlights for the boys and staff was a fixture against uh, Christchurch Boys High School where we, we did have one game uh, hailed off but also in the other game our boys were competitive and, and enjoyed the spirit of the game but also recognising the history and the, the culture associated with it. Uh, not only here, but, but what happens around the world. Boys have also enjoyed a number of team building activities. Paintball was a highlight, but also a trip to Henma Springs and the go-karting was another. So they've had a, a pretty holistic experience down here in Christchurch. Um, we've had great weather for the most part, except for our day at Boys High. So we've really enjoyed our time uh, and, and hoping to come back soon. Something we've noticed about all the opposition that we've played against here is the individual skills of each player and it's something we want to aspire to with our program. We want our boys to, to love rugby and the last couple of weeks, or a couple of, the last eight days has given us an opportunity to see what it's like to be immersed in rugby uh, and, and also help our boys motivate themselves to want to be better players. Uh, we recognise that the, the structures here in New Zealand and, and particularly Canterbury are unbelievable and they're something we want to emulate and hopefully with the success of the Rebels uh, we can start to become a powerhouse like the Crusaders have been. Logistically, we've, it's been a dream. It's been really easy. We've had a coach driver take us to and from games, to all activities, and everything was, was well announced um, beforehand. So the boys, especially dealing with teenage boys, are able to have plenty of notice as to what they need to wear, what they need to bring, and, and what opportunities will be provided to them at each activity. Um, the hotel has been fantastic and very accommodating and very understanding of the, the nature of uh, large groups of uh, students touring. Uh, the food, we look, we've had a buffet dinner every night and we've had a cooked breakfast every morning, so you couldn't ask for anything more with that. And, and you know, certainly as we've gone around through Christchurch, we've been able to eat out at various places. And, and certainly a highlight for the boys was the Kotani experience where they were involved in multiculture and got to uh, eat a hungi, which was a highlight for a lot of them. Something we've noticed in our boys over the last days is their development of their own personal organisation uh, and also their resilience. Uh, they, they often don't get outside their comfort zones when they're in Melbourne and to be in a, an environment where really they, they've only got their mates to lean on. Uh, they've also got staff but to uh, subsist with their friends for eight days in one room in a very con confined space. A lot of people might have to make concessions and they learn that Getting along with people is not just doing what you want to do. It's it's about making sure everyone has their needs met. Um, you know, game preparation, uh, recovery, and making sure they eat right and, and hydrate well. Uh, have all been things that they've actually learnt themselves because as they've gone through the tour, um, they've recognised their own shortcomings with regards to preparation and recovery. And it's really good for them to see that that you know. Being away from home is, is something that's enjoyable, but you also have to be organised and, and, and something they can take back, not only as rugby players, but also students. Um, and also to be exposed to, to other people's culture uh, sometimes can be quite confronting. And the way our boys have handled themselves, uh, particularly in the face of some pretty confronting things, certainly facing a haka uh, and involved with you know, different customs and traditions, it opens their horizons, but also makes them better young men, which is essentially what we want to do at the school.